and welcome back to my channel. And hello if you're new here. My name is Callie. Today, I thought it would be fun to talk about how to use a flat iron because a lot of people don't really fully know how to use flat irons and a couple different ways that you can use a flat iron. But that's what we're gonna do today. I just showered and so my hair is kind of damp right now. Um, it looks like this when it like air dries. I like to put product in when it's wet and then I'll either blow dry it or let it air dry and then I can add more product to my hair when it's dry if I need to, but I like to add most of my product when it's wet. And in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways to use a straightener. So I'm going to show you flat iron curls. I'm going to show you how to just use a flat iron in general. I'm going to show you some wave techniques. First product I'm going to use is this Kerastase Extensionese Thermique. This product is really great for um, heat protection and it also helps with breakage too. I really like to just spread it through my hands like this and then I'll lightly go through my ends like this and then I've got like bangs so I want to like put it through my bangs and then with almost nothing on my hands I go through the root. The reason I like to go mid to ends first is just so that I don't get like a ton of product just at the root or just on my scalp. Next, the Maximista. So I go through like phases where I have like favorite products and this is currently the one that I'm obsessed with. So this is Maximista by Orbe and this works really great for hair thickening. So it's great for volume, but it's also great for thickening. So you can use it at your roots and at your ends. So I just section like this. And I just take that whole strand and I just go roots to ends. On my length of hair, I'm using about two, sometimes three sprays if I need to on each little section here. So if you have longer hair than me, you'll obviously probably use more. If you have shorter hair than me, you might not only need, well, I mean, I mean, I feel like if it's like here, you only need one spray, but then longer than that, two or three. But mine is pretty much only needing two, so. If you use Orbe products, one thing to remember is a lot of them, not all, but a lot of them like to be sectioned out into the hair and distributed that way. So if you have an Orbe product and it's not working for you very well, you could read the instructions again and see if it says to section off. All right, and then I have bangs, so I'm just gonna take this So the next one I'm gonna use is the Feather Bomb, the Weightless Styler. All right, so I got some of the Feather Bomb in my hand here. I'm just gonna rub my hands together. I'm not really adding like a ton, although this is like a really light product, so if I did add too much, it would probably be fine, but. And last thing I'm gonna use is this oil. This is the Elixir Ultime Oil. I love this stuff. I love the way that it smells mostly, but it really helps with shine and moisture and frizz so i would use it almost every time i wash my hair i don't even think i explained what the feather bomb does that one um is a weightless styler so it just helps with hold but it's really like light too so now we're gonna brush and i think i'm just gonna really not go for a part today I've been really liking not really parting my hair and just like parting it after I'm done styling or just letting it do whatever because I feel like it helps with volume a lot. I'm gonna do my fringe first and I'm just gonna kind of brush it forward. I'm gonna take a comb. This is usually how I like to blow dry my fringe. So I take a comb and I just like kind of comb back and forth while I blow dry. Blow dryer goes up like this, comb goes like this. And then, take a round brush. And then the other side. Pretty much just like that, because they're just kind of curly. Okay, my camera just said that my memory card is full, so hopefully we can do this fast. I'm just gonna go through and blow dry the rest of my hair. Um, if you want a more in-depth bang, slash blow dry tutorial i can do when i have a blow dry video up on my channel but i'm just gonna rough dry my hair and then you can 
and then we can get into the um, straining. I usually just like rough dry my hair upside down um, and that's generally what I do. I'm gonna blow dry the rest of this not on camera just so that I can save room on my memory card. Then we'll get into the straightening. Okay, I'm back from rough drying my hair. You can see how much volume that gave it. Flat iron is heating up. I use about 350 in heat and usually you don't need more than that. Like almost, it's really rare to need more than that. Uh, if you have like coarser hair, obviously you might need a higher temperature, but on finer hair like mine, you really don't need more than 350. Ah, my battery is low too, dang. You can tell I don't do this often because my memory card's almost full and my battery is low. <laughs> well again, it is much later. My battery is finally charged. It's been a day. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna finish the tutorial. I took a nap, so my hair is like a mess. I'm just gonna brush through it. Again, since it's been a minute. I'm gonna pin this out of the way. I'm just using a comb. <laughs> Here we go, finally. First, I'm gonna show what it looks like when you're just flat ironing it. So just in general, so I have a comb here. I stick the comb in first, and then I put the flat iron in, and I just heat it up a little bit there, and then I slide down following the comb. Just like that. See? So that's how you just like regularly straighten. Um, and then and now on this side, I'm gonna show you how to create a crimp with a flat iron. And I turn like this and I go down. And then I switch, go down, switch, go down. See? So here I'm gonna show you a flat iron curl. Heat up. Now I'm going to turn my flat iron all the way around so that I can grab this piece of hair that's sticking out. And then I just go down. At the end, I pull out and straighten. This is a flat iron curl. And this is a crimped curl. Okay. Um, on this other piece that I haven't touched yet, I'm going to show you how to do like a curved under effect. You could also flip it out this way too. You just put the, the comb in, straighten. It's pretty much the same as straightening, except for at the end, you're just gonna slowly curve. Like that. So, probably a little too much of a curve, so you can. Yeah. Yeah, you get the idea. So, that is generally how you do that. Um, what I'm gonna do over my whole head is I'm gonna do a very like messy waves type of look. So I'm gonna do a combination of these two types of uh, curly crimpies. So I'm gonna have to go over these two again with heat, which is fine, because that's just sometimes how it goes. And I'm gonna do another flat iron curl over here. And then over here, I'm gonna do a crimpy piece. On the end here, I'm gonna straighten it out so that everything's like straight on the ends and even. Cause it's a little bit messier if you flatten the ends. I did go grab a clip so that I don't have to use the comb to hold my hair up anymore. So here, I'm gonna do a crimpy piece. That. The sections I'm taking are about this size, so. I'm 
this one's gonna be flatter and curl, but I'm gonna do this one towards my face. All the other ones I've done have been away from my face. I'm gonna do another crimpy piece here. And then here, I'm gonna show you a different way of doing the flat iron curls. This one's a little bit more complicated, so it's harder to do, but it looks a little bit more wavy versus curly, if that makes sense. So if you wanna try it, you can. I'm gonna do this one away from my face. So I start by doing the same thing. I pull it like that, but then I unravel and do it again, and then I unravel and straighten. I know that looks kind of complicated, but you, can you see the difference? Like this one looks a little bit more like this, versus the other one looks more like that. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but I'll show you in another piece. Let me show you over here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go towards our way. Let's go towards the face. And so you just do the same thing to start out like that but then you pull out and turn again go down and then flatten at the ends so the only difference really is you're under you're un, uh, undoing and like twisting as you go out so this one's gonna be a crimpy piece and then this one is gonna just be a regular flat iron curl so I'm not gonna like undo it or like pull it out or anything I'm just gonna Okay, so I am just going to do the rest and then I will show you when I'm done, just to save room on my memory card. And um, I'm just gonna kinda alternate depending on the section. I'm not gonna do every section the same and that's gonna make it look more messy and kind of undone and like bedhead looking. So I'll come back in a few. Okay, so it got kinda dark so I had to move over a little bit, but this is what the hair looks like. Um, I just have waited for it to cool. So basically what that means is it's not hot to the touch anymore. Then, hairspray. So this is the Moya Hold by Shulmora. And it's just a microfine finishing hairspray. So it's like a medium to flexible hold so I can still brush through it. That's why I like it. I wanna still be able to brush through it. I have a few tricks for brushing through my hair. So I'll share those with you. I also just kind of um, tucked the bangs, like I just kind of twisted them with the flat iron a little bit, just so they're not like in my face. And one trick you can do with the bangs too, is if you just like hold your hand like this and you just kind of hold it in like a curve, spray, spray, and then they stay a lot better that way. Okay, very important, oil and texture spray. Oil first, I put a tiny dot, like a little bead, on my hand. Rub that through my hands. Light handed, go over the hair. I'm not breaking up the curls. I'm just placing oil on top of the hair, just like that. Let me get in here too. Okay, that's gonna help with frizz when you brush it out. And then, you can use a brush to brush it out if you want. That's gonna take away the most curl and give you a very subtle wave. You can do a wide tooth comb. So I'm using this, but like a wider tooth comb is gonna preserve more of the curl. And then if you just use your hands and your fingers to like finger it through, it's gonna save the most amount of curl. So you're gonna have the least um, broken up effect. But we're gonna use this. So I'm just combing through. And see, it goes through the hair easy because of the oil. All right, and then at this point, I'm just gonna run my hands over my hair again. That's because I still have a little bit of oil on them, so. I'm gonna just that. And then, texture spray. So this is the Orbe texture spray. I love this stuff. If you are an Orbe fan, you're probably a fan of this texture spray because it's amazing. So I'm just gonna pull my hair apart like this. And I'm gonna put some in the bangs. 
And I like to put my head upside down like this. Can you see? Yeah. Put my hands in there and give it some volume. And there you have it. Some messy bedhead waves. Um, that's kind of just like a quick tutorial on how to use a flat iron. It's pretty simple, um, but it just takes some time to practice and learn. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got something out of it. I'm so glad my memory card let me film the rest of this. Um, I'm gonna have to go get a new one soon so I can film more videos. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you wanna see more. Feel free to comment if you would like me to um, film a tutorial on something specific that you wanna learn. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.